In 2013, Zombabi and her friends decided to make a Ouija board. Her best friend lives about 45 minutes drive from the closest store in nearest town, so there wasn't much to do. They'd spent the day watching movies, but eventually got bored. So Zimbabwe and her friend, and her friend's boyfriend, and his friend, decided to make the board. About a week before they made the board, the two friends had been staying alone at the house when Zimbabwe woke at 6 a.m. to the sound of heavy footsteps in the hallway, nearing the bedroom. She tried to wake her friend, but it was no use. She was a heavy, heavy sleeper. The footsteps stopped right outside the door. Zimbabwe waited, holding her breath for the door to open, but it never did. The next few hours she spent awake, waiting for something to happen. When both girls were finally awake by 11 a.m. the next morning, before either left the room, she told her friend what had happened the night before. What her friend said in response chilled her to the bone. She said that for years, she'd been hearing the same footsteps and that they'd always stopped right outside her bedroom. No one else had heard the footsteps until Zimbabwe did. That night, they made their Ouija board. The group were messing around with it, not getting any real responses when they suddenly heard a loud bang in the back of the house. They decided to stop for the night. The friend left to drive the other two home, leaving Zambabi alone at the house. Being alone after hearing the loud noise and the footsteps, it made her nervous, so she turned on the television for a distraction while she waited for her friend to return. In the middle of the opening credits, the television froze and started making loud buzzing noises. She tried to turn off the TV, but the remote, it wouldn't work. Then she tried unplugging it, but it kept going. Thoroughly freaked out, she went outside to wait for her friend to get back. At this point, she had started shaking and crying and texted her friend explaining what had happened. Then the dogs started barking at the living room, viciously growling and snarling like they saw something no human could. 30 minutes later, her friend finally arrived back home. Both girls could hear the television from the porch, but when they went inside, it had completely shut off, and it was still unplugged. Neither are sure exactly what happened, but they're certain it was some kind of malevolent spirit.